What's up, fam? Welcome back to the Bite Size Podcast. I'm your host, Lorraine Michaels. And today, let's move around my stuff here. Today is Monday, September 18th. And um, it is a, a bonus episode, a shorty episode, but it's something that I really wanted to um, do, record, post, get out. Um, some of you may or may not know, depending on if you are an entrepreneur or someone in the personal development space, um, but something really, really sad and tragic and unfortunate happened this weekend. Jesse Lee Ward, um, or other known as Boss Lee, passed away on Saturday. And I had mentioned her a couple of times previously in my podcasts about how she has a warrior mindset and a warrior mentality. And um, she was battling stage four colon cancer and she was healing from it. Um, So I like she anyways, long, long story. If you're interested in her journey, her journey is incredible. She was literally healing herself from stage four colon cancer. Um, she got diagnosed officially in February, but she knew in January, um, and then decided to go the natural holistic homeopathic route without, um, medications, no chemo, no radiation, nothing from Western medicine, which no knock to Western medicine, if that's what you choose. Um, I have 15 year history in working in medicine. So, um, I've been there, but I have, um, I no longer do. And there's a reason for that. That's, that's in and of itself a different story, but anyways, so she was healing herself from cancer and, but the unfortunate thing is, is she passed away on Saturday. And it has been devastating to thousands and thousands of people because she has impacted so many people through her coaching, her speaking, her her example, her life. Um, so today's episode is a tribute to Jesse Lee Ward, um, hashtag Boss Lee, the, the people's uh, you know, the people's coach. Um, she was one of the top performers, top recruiters in, um, this industry in multi-level marketing. She was, uh, I think she was a CEO or co-CEO of a company called Prove It. Um, an incredible company, an incredible health and wellness company, um, amongst many, many, many other businesses that she, um, excelled at and she dominated this, this industry, um, fiercely, boldly, confidently. She knew what she was doing. She, she knew what she was talking about. She was an incredible person. I unfortunately did not get the opportunity to ever meet her, um, or to work with her. I have friends though, who she was her coach or they, she was their coach. Um, and so, and there was many, many people that I recommended them hire her as their coach. But the premise of this podcast today of me releasing this today, this bonus episode, if you will, but this tribute to Jesse Lee Ward is she embodied what I talk about. She embodied fiercely going after her dreams. She, and she coached people on it. She taught people on it. She, I, I had a, other businesses in multi-level marketing that I, I chose not to push and go to the top at, um, for whatever reason, but I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I had the opportunity to be in a part of her network, to be in her cohort, to, to have the, the teachings from her. And, um, I wish I could have met her. I wish I could have seen her live. She's, she was going to be speaking at one of the events that I'm going to be going to, Um, but my point in this is we don't have time to, 
to, to waste. Time is not guaranteed. We don't know when our punch clock is going to clock us out for the last time. We, we don't know that it's not guaranteed. And I want to encourage you. I want to, I want to shake it into you that there's no time to waste, to stop fussing around with dreams and, and not pursuing them and not boldly and confidently going after them. What, what do you want to do? What do you want to be? What do you want to do? Do you want to be a stay-at-home mom and you're tired of working your nine-to-five job? Figure it out. Get creative. Figure out how you can get home and be with those babies and raise those children. Do you want to be a painter? Paint. You want to be a singer? Start singing. You want to be a writer? Write the book. Start writing. Do you want to be an entrepreneur? Start. Start. Figure it out. There are so many resources and coaches available to walk you, to walk you through the journey, to walk alongside of you. What do you want to do? You do not have time to fuss around anymore. And it doesn't even have to be this big giant thing, but what is it? Do you want to start doing yoga? Do you want to start a new sport? Do you want to try a new thing? What are you waiting for? Why are you waiting? Stop being afraid. Stop being scared. That's, that's one of the number one things that holds us back from actually doing, pursuing, and living our calling, our best life, and living in alignment, and living that joy-filled life is fear. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of what people are going to say. Stop letting the fear stop you from achieving greatness. Jesse embodied that. Bosley lived that out. She encouraged and loved fiercely. One of the things, so like I said, she had been, I've been following her for years and I've been following her journey, her cancer journey since it all started very, very closely. And she did not let fear stop her. She didn't let adversity stop her. She didn't let obstacles stop her. She didn't let hard times, being tired, being sick. For Christ's sakes, when she had surgery, after she found out that she had colon cancer and she had surgery to remove the tumors, she was in her hospital bed on calls, on business calls, reaching out to her team, encouraging people, getting on her calls so that she could be poured into and she could be encouraged. She didn't stop. And that's, that's another thing that, you know, stops us from pursuing our dreams boldly and passionately is obstacles, setbacks. You know, you, you run into an obstacle and you stop. Oh, it got too hard. Oh, I don't have the money. I'm, I'm 100% guilty of that, of, gosh, I don't, I don't have the money. I don't have the money to get to this event. I don't, and I let it stop me. But because of Jesse, I've been pushing harder. I've been trying more. I've been reaching out more. I've been loving more and I'm getting creative. You know, if they're like, I had mentioned in one of my other previous podcasts, like I know that my funds are not where I want them to be right now in order to do what I want to do, what I've been called to do. So I'm getting creative. I'm applying for a part-time job so that I can have income. I'm selling stuff, things that I don't need, furniture, whatever. I'm getting creative. I'm generating income so that I can be and do what I've been called to do. And that's to encourage you. That is to speak life into you, to give you the tools, to give you the roadmap of how you can get there. And you can. So friends, I really, I really want to challenge you to stop and and ask yourself, am I living the life that I want to live? Am I, am I happy? Am I, do I have joy? Am I doing what I want to do? Am I being the person that I want to be? When I go to bed at night, am I satisfied with my life? And if the answer is no, then I challenge you. I want to encourage you to figure out what's one thing you can do to change it. Just one. You don't have to 
make a complete 180. But what's one thing that you can do that's going to get you closer to where you want to be, to living the life that you dream of living? What's one thing you can do? And if you're saying, Lorraine, I don't even know. Well, then let's take it a step further back. What do you want to do? What brings you joy? What is something you've always dreamed of doing, being, creating, seeing, traveling? What is it? What lights you up? Think about it. Write it down. And then write down, what is the one thing that I can do today that I can start to do daily from here on out that's going to bring me closer to where I want to be? Like I said, I didn't know Jessie personally, but from the day that she found out that she had stage four cancer, I have been praying endlessly for her to have the strength to continue to do what she did. Obviously, no one knows our end date. No one knows our expiration date. No one knows when we're going to get called home. But she didn't let that stop her. She loved to a different level after that. She knew that life was precious. She realized it. And she didn't let that stop her. She didn't live selfishly. She continued on her mission and she continued doing and living and being the best that she could absolutely be. She never played short. She played full out. And I loved seeing, especially in her last days when her friend Courtney, or I think it was her assistant, put out an urgent prayer request. And they reposted what everyone around the world was posting and praying and doing and seeing the thousands and thousands of people post on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, who was praying for her. It was incredible. That's the kind of legacy that I want to live. That's my mission is that everyone that comes into contact me, contact with me, whether it be through social media or on my podcast or on their podcast or who I coach or who I speak to, that everyone who comes into contact with me, one, feels the love of Jesus and knows the love of Jesus, but two, realizes their worth and their value and their story matters and that I can encourage them to pursue that and to live that. So friends, I want to encourage you to go after your dreams, no matter how big or how small they are. It does not matter. It's your dream. It's something that God put in you. And it's exactly how God created you to do, be, feel, lean into that, pursue that, pursue that fearlessly and live it out. So I just, I hope that today um, you love your loved ones, you love the people in your life. You tell someone that you love them and how much they mean to you because you're not promised tomorrow and you don't know when your time is up. But I pray that you are living the life that God has given you and blessed you with to the fullest extent that you possibly can and that you find joy and peace. And don't worry about the haters. I've got them too. Don't worry about the obstacles. Everyone's got them. But how are you going to push past the obstacle? How are you going to persevere through the tough time? Because that's what who makes you, you. That's what makes you level up and, and, and become the, the best version of yourself. So um, it was a hard weekend. It was really tough, but it was very sombering and, uh, I know without a doubt that Jesse is in heaven and um, encouraging people there. I mean, you don't have to encourage people in heaven because it's perfect in heaven, but I'm, I pray she visits me. Um, Even though we didn't know each other, uh, I pray that I can um, help her legacy live on by doing exactly what she did. And that's pursuing 
my dreams, fearlessly, boldly, passionately, wildly, loudly, just like she did. So make it a great one, guys. You were divinely created for a divine purpose and your story matters. Peace out.